to see that they are heavily involved uh, in uh, the vaccination marketing campaign. <laughs> uh, the government, what is the government doing? And uh, Obama came out and, and even spoke on the vaccination issues and said, you, 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 know, you should get your children vaccinated. I'm vaccinated, my children are vaccinated. Everybody should be vaccinated, it makes sense. It's, it's, it's healing, it just does everything it's supposed to do. Now, I'm not, I'm not here to speak against uh, every vaccination. Um, some of it is used for medical purposes. Same way uh, uh, some of these uh, um, uh, law enforcement agencies are used to fight crime. <laughs> um, but the, all of the agency is not used. To, it's like you got good cops and you got bad cops. That's what that is. Okay. That's in, that's in every facet of society because, first of all, you need order. Okay. So you'll need the good cops to go around and make sure that the bad people don't victimize everybody else okay so you're gonna have that element and you're gonna have the element among the local police you're gonna have that element in the fbi you're gonna have the element in the department of justice uh the department of, you're gonna have all those god tell us about those he tell us in the book of romans chapter 13 um that they are um uh that they are not a terror to good works okay but if you do that which is evil be afraid so um the rulers that be are ordained of god god has ordained um order in a society okay but then you got the evil among these organizations that abuses their authority and that uses their authority to spread wickedness and oppression okay and they in your local police departments as you finding out with the ferguson police department and the racism and all of the uh institutionalized racism um that was even up in the court systems and and the oppression that was on black people and this is just not any black person or almost every so-called african-american and so-called minority can attest to what was going on in ferguson that it goes on in their cities in their states that um they get unjustifiably stopped there'd be no probable cause they was doing nothing illegal and yet they get harassed by law enforcement local law enforcement this even goes on in in the uh, fbi the fbi is supposed to be like the holy grail of law enforcement they're supposed to have the reputation of being the good guys um but uh, <laughs> i beg to differ okay again yeah go get the timothy mcveigh's right um you know go ahead and fight crime but why are they also fighting against um, ordinary uh, Americans? Why are they fighting against ideologies and ideas? Why are they infiltrating organizations into, with the purpose of destroying an organization so they cannot uh, um, spread their message, which is not the same message as the government of the United States of America. If this is supposed to be a free country and you're supposed to be free to believe um, and everything, and it's the land of opportunity and the home of the free, then wait a minute, what are they doing? Okay? Um, and this goes all the way, all the way, all the way up, even, like I said, all the way up to the Department of Justice, to the White House, and different things of that nature. Um, let me get back to the uh, vaccinations and the uh, Ebola scare. Um, let me, let me uh, talk about a situation, that situation in Pakistan. The CIA was in Pakistan, um, and they was the ones providing the money. Um, they was the ones uh, that was putting together the advertisement for everybody in Pakistan to get, uh, get vaccinated. What was the cause of that? Okay. The cause of that was that First of all, what was they doing there in the first place? They also, as, I, as I'm looking at my notes, they also, they had agents that was going door to door with doctors in Pakistan to get people vaccinated, okay? Making sure that the doctors did the job of vaccinating the people in, uh, in Pakistan. Like I said, there was even, a, the Pakistanis even made a law that if you don't get your children vaccinated, you're going to get arrested. Um... What was the what was the real why was the CIA so interested in, in, in getting everybody in Pakistan? Why Pakistan and getting everybody in Pakistan vaccinated? Remember the uh, search for Osama bin Laden? Remember that? That's how they found him. So we know for sure that vaccinations are used for other purposes besides medical purposes of what they're telling you.
That may, confu- that may be confusing to some of you. How did they find Osama bin Laden through vaccinating, uh, vaccinating people? Um, what they told you was that it was a courier and they, they had, they, they, uh, they had the uh, plans from the, uh, the Bush administration and, and they used the torture techniques and it yielded fruit in one of the uh, in people that was uh, being interrogated. He cracked and he gave them the name of a courier. And once they had the name of the courier, they was able to pick up chatter and they was able to follow this courier and that's how they got Osama bin Laden. Listen, come on. Okay, listen. how long it was? A decade? <laughs> Okay, if you could pick up chatter, okay, then you would have been got the guy. That's not how they found him. And right now they're real nervous. They said, like, what the hell? How the hell this guy? Um, well, they know who I am. Okay, we're gonna talk about that later on. Okay, um, but and they know how I found out. They know how I find out. Okay, because I'm the prophet of the Almighty God, and there's nothing hid that shall not be revealed. What they was doing in Pakistan was they were looking for Osama. Bin Laden's relatives, all of his relatives. They knew after a certain period of time had gone by that he would start slipping and that he would start having his relatives come see him. So they need to know everybody that was his relatives. What does that have to do with vaccination? Okay, when you get vaccinated, your DNA actually goes in the, uh, uh, can get extracted. And they were going around trying to find out who was their strong. And they was vaccinating everybody in Pakistan. They was going around extracting their DNA. And they was, uh, DNA is in the simplest things, blood, tissue, simplest things. Okay, so from the needle of the vaccination, um, or if they put it up your nose and put a spray in your nose and a mist and the different things of those nature, all that still draws out DNA. And um, um, they would use it against information that they already had from other uh, DNA information that they already had from other Osama bin Laden relatives so they could find out who all his relatives were, especially in Pakistan because they, they suspected Osama bin Laden to be somewhere in Pakistan. He was also being protected by the Pakistani military. Okay? So, what they did and, and, and they, they pl- completely played the Pakistani government for fools because the Pakistani brought into this vaccination uh, madness. So what they did is they found out who all, they, who all his relatives was, and from that point, they extracted the DNA. Through the DNA being extracted, they found out who his relatives was, and they tracked every last one of them until one of them led them to where Osama bin Laden was. And that's how they found him. Okay. Um, one of his close relatives um, led them to the location, to that compound where he was, and that's how they found him. Now, why is this important to us? Um, so they go for vaccinations if they're not going to just try to kill you outright and give you some poison like it was in the swine food vaccination. Uh, I just want to say this, most vaccinations are safe. It's when they decide to uh, um, implement a plan to wipe a lot of Israelites out, then, you know, those are the ones that you got to look out for. If you're fully grown, okay, um, you done made it through all these different pandemics and outbreaks. You really don't need it. You know, every, every season the flu come around, they tell you, okay, come to the, your local pharmacy and uh, get a shot in your arm. And, you, know, you don't need all that. But it's a personal decision. Um, if you want to take it, you can take it. When something is coming out that is, uh, or being released that is harmful, um, those things are usually announced. Okay, but to each his own. A lot of you feel like, you know what, I'm not dealing with this. And, and hey, that's fine. That's fine too. Um, but what's the goal of them pushing these vaccinations? Again, they're trying to get, they want to get your DNA. That's one of the ways to get, get your DNA. The DNA tells them what? It tells them who you are. Who are they really looking for? If God said the Israelites are as the sands of the sea, that um, they, are, they are as the stars of heaven, that they cannot be numbered um, nor measured, they want to know where the Israelites are all over this world and who they are. So when they're ready to implement their plan, um, they will know where all the Israelites are, whether their plan is to destroy them, whether their plan is to uh, infiltrate them and, and get them on their side, deceive them, whatever it is, whatever it is to get them away from God, they need to make sure that they got a, they got a, they got a, uh, they got a, a upper hand on who all the Israelites are. 